Hello, this is Toby the Roby from nerdsided.com. Here to give you the part two of how to create a tower defense tutorial in the Warcraft 3 World Editor. Uh, in this tutorial, um, I'm going to show you how to create a losing life system. So when the enemy unit enters uh, the final region, um, the uh, leaking player will lose a life. Pretty simple. Um, uh, but this is, um, as I said earlier, uh, the player... Sorry, <laughs> the uh, part two of this tutorial. I recommend you watch part one, but it's not acquired. I just recommend you to do it. Um, anyway, if you have been following along and if you watch the part one of this tutorial, you will have a trigger which uh, enables the bounty of player brown. And in the same trigger, we're going to create a an action. But first, we're gonna have to create a, the variable we're going to be using. Just click Control B or click on the variable button. Create a new variable. Call it player red life. All right. Click E. Go down and find integer. Uh, integers are numbers with no comma, no decimals. In other words, you can't like write 3.12. Doesn't. Can't do that. <laughs> you can only you know, write like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. But if you have a real, you can write with commas. But I don't need any comma for this or decimal. I only need uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 numbers. And um, I'm just going to pick integer and uh, click OK. Uh, now go up and find the new action button, Control R, if you want to do that. Uh, <laughs> click S and set variable that's called, and set which variable. The only variable I have created, red life. No, oh, sorry, play red life. Um, okay, and we're gonna set this to thirty. So that's our amount you know, the amount of life the player has. Uh, if you want more or less, you can, of course, you, of course, you can pick that, like, 20 or 50 or 40, doesn't matter. You can pick anything. This is just the amount of lives the player is going to have. All right. <coughs> now, create a new trigger. And this one's going to be called, let's say, uh, PLR Lose Life. In other words, player red, lose life. Uh, the event is going to be when a unit enters the final region. So click U, find unit, unit enters region. Which region? We're going to select our region. The, uh, your own, or I'm sorry, uh, last region, you know, the final region. If the unit enters that region, we need a condition um, because we only want our uh enemy when our enemy unit enters the final region it that's the only time we're gonna lose life for example if your builder went in there and you would just lose life that'd be kind of weird um so we need to check which owner which is the owner of the entering unit so go ahead and click on the condition button go down and find click p player comparison owner of owner of unit owner of entering unit so owner for entering unit equal to player twelve or brown. Alright. So if enter entering unit equals to player brown, then do the action. And the action is the minus life action. Click S. Set variable. Which variable? The uh, player red life variable. And this is kinda interesting. And we're gonna go ahead and um find the Arif Matic. I think it's pronounced that way. <laughs> anyway, that's value plus value, or in this case, value plus one. But we're gonna put it in um, player red life as the first value, and click minus up here. And the amount of lives you want the player to lose each time the unit enters the final region. I'm just gonna pick one. So there you go. Um, when the unit enters the region, owner of entering, uh, owner of entering equal to player brown, then set 
uh, player real life to itself minus one. So if the player has 30 lives left, it will set itself to 29. And if he has 29 lives left, it will set, his, set itself to 28. It's fairly simple. But uh, one problem now, the player doesn't know how much life he got, how, ma how many lives he got. So we got to tell him. Go ahead and take a new action or control R, click G, game text all the time. Display to player red, uh, since um, player red is the leaking player here, at least in my case. And the text, go ahead and find Constantinate Strings, I think it's named. Um, and call um, player red just lost one life uh, and yes all right that's it um player red just lost one life and has uh got the strings uh two plus string plus string uh, go ahead and find conversion convert integer to a string or if you have a real convert real to string but we have an integer convert integer to string click on that and find your variable okay so now it will um, display on the screen um, the uh, value of player red life in other words the lives of our leaking player okay uh, has lost amount of lives there's no lives left okay so uh, when you test this map, it will probably say player red just lost one life and has amount of lives. No, also, in other words, player reds, player red life amount plus it will say lives left. I want to watch out that you have, I have though, that you take a. Uh, what's the name of that? You press the space bar, and you get uh, some air in between. Okay. So, what this does, you lose one life, the variable, and uh, it will display to the player uh, what, uh, how many lives he has left, and that he just lost life. But, uh, now we got uh, that part finished, uh, <laughs> uh, now we have the variable stored. You can also do this, um, when this happens, you can go ahead and create a new action. Um, and click I. If then else. Multiple functions. Okay. And this is a genius little thing. You can put a c condition inside the action, kind of. Um, if then else. Yeah. Um, so, now we're going to check if this guy is zero. Alright. Um, if. Um, uh, integer comparison f our variable equal to zero. So if uh, life of red life player red life equal to zero, then um we're gonna set um the uh, defeat action. If the uh, red play red life equal to zero, so take a new action. Go and find click G, find game defeat. Uh, defeat player red with message. You got a message. I'm gonna tell you. Okay, kind of lame, but <laughs> we'll stick with that. Else, do nothing. Oh, oh gosh. The upper uh, action. Okay, and do nothing. So, here we go. You got, um, not, <laughs> you got a uh, basic, um, TD. With no towers, but who cares? <laughs> I hope you know how to do that uh, on your own in the object editor. 
Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll be coming out with more tutorials soon. See you then. Bye-bye.